Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be comparing two twin engine aircraft. The twin order has been a proven success over the years, but now it may have met its match. Cessna's new Sky Courier. And today we're going to see how they compare. The Cessna 408 Sky Courier is an American twin turboprop high wing utility aircraft under development by Textron Aviation. It will have two configurations, a passenger and a freight configuration. The passenger variant will have a capacity of 19 passengers or 5,000 pounds. And the freight variant will be able to hold up to three LD3 shipping containers or 6,000 pounds. The de Havilland DHC-6 Twin Otter, currently marketed as the Viking Air DHC-6 Twin Otter, is a Canadian short takeoff and landing utility aircraft developed by de Havilland Canada. The standard aircraft configuration of the Twin Otter is a 19-seat commuter, with standard options for VIP, executive, and corporate shuttle configuration. The flight deck of the Sky Courier features a modern three-panel Garmin G1000 NXI avionics suite. On the other hand, the Twin Otter has a Honeywell Apex suite. We will compare the power plant of these two aircraft. The engine manufacturer for both the Cessna Sky Courier and Twin Otter is Pratt & Whitney Canada. The Sky Courier has the PT6A-65SC engine with a power rating of 1100 shaft horsepower while the Twin Otter has the PT6A-34 engine model with a power rating of 750 shaft horsepower. The Sky Courier has Macaulay model Black Mac 4-blade aluminum model propellers which features auto feathering and reverse. The Twin Otter has Hartzell model HC B3TN 3DY 3-blade propellers which features reversible pitch, constant speed, and fully feathering propellers. Next is a comparison between the performance of these aircraft. Just a quick disclaimer for the performance on the Cessna Sky Courier directly from Cessna. The performance data is based on standard conditions with zero wind. Field performance assumes a level hard surface or dry runway. Max range and cargo range assume long range crews at 10,000 feet and IFR reserve. Cargo range also assumes the cargo configurations. All data is preliminary and subject to change. When it comes to speed, the Sky Courier wins. It has a max cruise speed of 200 knots, while the Twin Otter has a max cruise speed of 182 knots at 10,000 feet. Both of these aircraft have a service ceiling of 25,000 feet or 7,620 meters. There's a dramatic difference in range in these two aircraft when in their passenger configuration. With a payload of 4,000 pounds, the Sky Courier can fly 405 nautical miles, while the Twin Otter can fly only 100 nautical miles. With a payload of 3,000 pounds, the Sky Courier can fly 645 nautical miles, while the Twin Otter can only fly 400 nautical miles. The cargo configuration of the Sky Courier can fly even further. Flying 695 nautical miles with a payload of 4,000 pounds and 895 nautical miles with a payload of 3,000 pounds based on the 100 nautical miles reserves flying at 10,000 feet. Thank you for watching this video. I would like to know your thoughts on the new Cessna aircraft and the Twin Otter. If you enjoyed this comparison video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get a notification when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.